So, so I'm stuffing this sucker full of M80s, cherry bombs, uh, ash cans, bottle rockets. bottle rockets. So Dawson lights it. We take off. <laughs> Mailbox explodes. There's burning paper and metal going everywhere, right? Six months later, we're at the gas and such, and there's old man Slattery. He's getting arrested in the parking lot. Bench warrant for not showing up for jury duty. There was a jury summons in the f mailbox. <laughs> And that's what he gets for failing my ass in English lit. <laughs> Look, it's the war criminal. Hey, you're hungry. I'll buy you a meal, man. You know, how about the homeless? This is the guy that I was talking to you about. You know, uh, you and my friend Emmett here, you actually got something in common. Both play college football. Old Emmett here was Georgia State starting tight end for three years. According to your records, you played one game for Army. What happened, man? You couldn't hack it. They kicked me off. What for? Being too violent. You're interrupting our lunch. Let me ask you something. What kind of man are you? A stupid man? A bitter man? Are you just an insecure, spoiled rich boy hiding behind daddy's money? It wasn't a rhetorical question. I really want to know what kind of man enjoys intimidating a woman half his size. A woman who, by the way, is beyond intimidation. I think I know what kind of guy you are. You're the kind of guy that knows things. You knew I'd come after you when I saw what you did to Roscoe. You knew I'd see your truck right outside. A work truck whose bed's never had anything in it other than a keg. And you knew I'd come in here and cause a problem that would most likely get me in trouble. But know what you don't know? What's that? What it feels like when I hit you. Because if you did, you never would have picked up that paint can. Okay. Now let me tell you something about Roscoe Conklin. That little cock tease. <laughs> Don't make me prove it. Drop the knife or I drop you, KJ. Son, put it down. This ain't over. Anytime you want to dance. Since the moment this man arrived at Margrave, there's been nothing but violence. And now he's attacked my son? That's it, you get him out of here. Last time I checked, you are my boss. Captain Finley, you're a city boy. So maybe you haven't heard the expression. But if you keep digging for water under the outhouse, you ain't gonna find nothing you can drink. So you stop this nonsense already before someone gets hurt. I, I saw the whole thing. Junior and the boys were just minding their own business when this guy came in and started tearing up the place. Thank you, Earl for being a good citizen of Margrave. Detective? Roscoe, take Reacher outside. See you soon, Junior. <laughs>